in line with its mandate of promoting, protecting and preserving the rights and welfare of women and children, FIDA Nigeria embarked on various projects and activities. They include the project Challenging Impunity Through Gender Protection and Empowerment, supported by the Nigeria Stability and Reconciliation Program, NSRP, with a focus on Damaturu, Bade, and Potiskum, local government areas of Yobe State, Nigeria, which lasted between February 2016 and April 2017. FIDA also conducted advocacy visits to key stakeholders such as traditional leaders like the Emir of FICA to secure his commitment to support the project. FIDA Nigeria, Yobi State Branch, carried out community outreaches to address issues of violence as it affects them individually, irrespective of sex, legal implications of involvement in violent activities, their collective responsibility as a community to protect the lives of their people, interventions provided under the project, and how they can participate in these interventions. The outreach was also taken to secondary schools where FIDA Nigeria established Stop Violence Against Women clubs that would be championed by male students with the aim of changing the attitude and psychology of the younger generation. On violence. Other activities conducted by FIDA Nigeria include a stakeholders monitoring platform constituted to include male vanguards to champion the cause of women in the society, a strategy it adopted during the advocacy for the passage of the Violence Against Persons Prohibition VAP Act 2015 to highlight gender challenges facing women and urged the National Assembly to pass the VAP bill into law to address these challenges. Capacity building of women in peace-building institutions, as well as advocacy visits to key government institutions in Yobe State on the need for more women participation in decision-making processes for peace-building in Nigeria, radio programs in the local languages where Feed in Nigeria held such campaigns an avenue to interact with the people. To this end, phone lines were opened for the project and given out to the public to enable victims and others report cases of violence against women and girls in their communities at any time to FIDA Nigeria. FIDA Nigeria also developed a referral document on gender-based violence for Yobe State following careful consultations with relevant stakeholders, after which copies of the document were disseminated to beneficiaries of the project to inform not just the victims, but members of other communities long after the lifetime of the project. Over 40 cases involving child sexual abuse, child abandonment and rape were handled, breaking the culture of silence to acts of violence against women and girls, particularly sexual violence. Another project titled Access to Justice for Conflict-Induced Displaced Populations in Meduguri, Northeast Nigeria, supported by the International Organization for Migration, was implemented in six internally displaced persons camps and three communities hosting IDPs within Meduguri Metropolitan Council. Following the displacement of several families during the insurgent attacks in Meduguri, Borno State, northeast Nigeria, thousands of displaced persons moved to camps commonly referred to as IDP camps. Due to the violation of the fundamental rights of these IDPs, FIDA Nigeria, in line with its mandate of protecting, promoting and preserving the rights and welfare of women and children in Nigeria, decided to provide the target beneficiaries with sufficient legal information and advice that will equip them with the rudiments of the laws in Borno State, assist the target beneficiaries in understanding local laws and procedures, assist the target beneficiaries in their choice and access of appropriate legal mechanisms and provide legal representation, assistance and counseling to the target group. 
Fida Nigeria also paid advocacy visits to traditional rulers and persons of influence in host communities of IDP camps and the authorities of the camps to create synergy between the magistrate court and FIDA members, ensure speedy dispensation of justice, and formally notify NEMA on FIDA projects implemented across the six IDP camps. FIDA Nigeria carried out sensitization and awareness campaigns on the rights of IDPs and how to access justice. During this activity, FIDA Nigeria Borno State Branch embarked on intensive sensitization to IDP camps on existing formal legal systems in Borno State, including laws and customs regulating civil, administrative, criminal, and human rights matters as they relate to their displacement. The one-on-one -on -one counseling session contributed to increased awareness amongst the IDPs in these camps on their rights and ways of obtaining redress where these rights have been violated. FIDA Nigeria, at a workshop, trained authorities in charge of IDPs and other key stakeholders on the handling of cases that relate to violation of rights within the camps. The objective of the workshop was to improve the knowledge of camp authorities and representatives of government agencies responsible for the welfare of IDPs as it pertains to justice delivery. Other activities implemented by FIDA Nigeria Borno branch were the production and airing of radio jingles in seven languages including Pidgin English, Hausa, Fulani, Babur, Kanuri, Shua, and Margi to reach a greater number of the people. Focus group discussions designed to gather information from the IDPs on their knowledge of their rights and how to seek redress in case of violations. Training of paralegals who receive reports on violation of rights of IDPs and make referrals to FIDA Nigeria. Free legal representation and assistance where a total of 100 cases were handled, while 30 litigations and 70 cases were resolved through the alternative dispute resolution mechanisms. These projects contributed in no small measure to the improvement of the situation of internally displaced persons affected by the insurgency in Nigeria's northeast, particularly Meduguri Metropolitan Council, Borno State, and also increased awareness amongst persons in these camps on their rights and ways of obtaining redress where these rights have been violated. A total of 26,786 persons across the target camps and communities were directly reached during the counseling sessions, while 53,492 persons were reached indirectly. FIDA Nigeria also paid an advocacy visit to the Nigerian Stock Exchange, NSE, to discuss the possibility of engaging NSE in partnership and sponsorship of women empowerment programs to create more investment opportunities and build a sustained economic empowerment base. On the 14th of August 2017, FIDA Nigeria President, represented by the National Secretary, Mrs. Rhoda, Theoden Moore led a delegation on a courtesy visit to the Director General of the National Orientation Agency, Dr. Garba Abari, with the aim of establishing strategic partnerships in the implementation of the Stop Violence Against Women in Elections Stop Vavi project and to ensure wider publicity of the message of Stop Vavi. FIDA Nigeria hosted the continuing legal education workshop as part of the mandatory requirement for every legal practitioner as provided in Section 11 of the Nigerian Bar Association Rules and Regulations. This was an initiative of the FIDA National President, Inimi Aguma, aimed at equipping FIDA members with relevant information to effectively carry out their mandate towards improving the welfare of women and children in Nigeria. The workshop commenced with the training of trainers 
at the conference room of the Court of Appeal Abuja on the 21st of July 2017. These participants would step down the knowledge gained to other feeder members within their respective zones. The strategy was to divide the country into zones for the step-down training. FIDA Nigeria on the 15th of March 2017 hosted a parallel event at the UN Commission on the Status of Women in New York. Speaking at the event, the country vice president and national president of FIDA Nigeria, Inime Aguma, enjoined guests to put women empowerment issues on the front burner. She expressed hope that the event would provide platform to strategize on ways forward in women empowerment. At this point, let us look at some of the activities of FIDA Nigeria implemented through some of its state chapters in line with their mandate to promote, preserve and protect the rights and welfare of women, children and other vulnerable groups in Nigeria. Let us begin with FIDA Nigeria branch of Kebi State. Kebi State chapter of FIDA Nigeria recently collaborated with the wife of the state governor, Her Excellency Dr. Zainab Atiku Bagudu, to pay the outstanding fines to free up to 30 inmates from the new Burn Kebi prison. Food items, clothing, and other assorted stuff were donated to the 329 inmates of the new Burn Kebi prison. FIDA Nigeria, through its branch in Edo State, led a delegation of FIDA members to the Catholic Bishop of Benin City, Most Reverend Dr. Augustine Obiora Akubweze, the Anglican Bishop, Reverend Peter Imausen, and also to the heads of higher institutions in the state, urging them to use their exalted offices and platforms to preach against drug trafficking and drug abuse. A team of FIDA members led by the state chairperson, Mrs. Maria Edeko, paid an advocacy visit to the governor, His Excellency, Mr. Gavin Obasiki, who gave his support to FIDA Nigeria's fight against drug abuse. Again, FIDA Nigeria, through its AKT state branch, in conjunction with National Association of Women Journalists, NAWOJ, held a road walk in the month of August 2017 in Ado Ekiti, the state capital, to sensitize the public on the benefits of exclusive breastfeeding within the first six months of birth. The road walk witnessed representations from various institutions and organizations that came out to encourage nursing mothers on exclusive breastfeeding, explaining its impact on children both intellectually and physically and how they could maintain sound good health while doing this. FIDA Nigeria, through its Oyo State and Gombe State branches, embarked on public enlightenment campaigns in primary schools and marketplaces against sexual abuse and domestic violence among children and women, respectively. This is geared towards instilling the right attitude to the relevant stakeholders against such menace in the society. Through FIDA Delta State Branch, the public were engaged on the implications of domestic violence, child labor, child abuse, rape and defilement and ways of obtaining redress in cases of violations. On the 16th of June 2017, FIDA Nigeria through her Enugu State and River State Branches celebrated the Day of the African Child. The theme of this year's celebration was Accelerating Protection, Empowerment and Equal Opportunity for Children in Africa by 2030. The day aims at raising awareness for the situation of children in Africa and on the need for continuing improvement in education. It was also used as a platform for mentoring program. FIDA Nigeria through her Abuja branch to alleviate the plight of prisoners, especially women, in incarceration, donated relief materials such as food staff, sanitary pads and toiletries to the inmates. This is in line with her mandate to improve the welfare and reproductive health of women in Nigerian prisons. 
The branch visited the school for the deaf and blind to celebrate the day with the students. Members were received by the principal and vice principal. It was observed that the vice principal was also physically challenged. The branch expressed her delight at commemorating the day with the children and explained the significance of Children's Day and what feeder's objectives are. Food items and toiletries were donated to the children. FIDA River State Branch celebrated her 30th anniversary with a theme raising the bar in the promotion of the rights of women and children. The branch had been in existence since 18th May 1987 and has been in the forefront of campaigns, advocacies, legal aids as well as proposing legislations in the promotion, protection and preservation of the rights of women and children. The country vice president, Mrs. Inimi Aguma, reiterated her call on all stakeholders and the society at large to join the campaign to say no to all forms of violence against women and children by speaking out and pressing on until justice is achieved. As part of her vision, FIDA envisages a just, peaceful and equitable Nigerian society where women and children's rights and interests are guaranteed and protected and they have the freedom to choose and live their own future. We believe that part of this vision would be actualized through our projects and activities.